much for watching. So in today's video, it was not planned. I literally just wanted to put shitloads of makeup on. And it was kind of inspired by autumn, um, that kind of like colour theme. Um, I didn't want to do a typical kind of like really dark brown smoky eye and my last video was kind of like a brown smoky eye so I didn't want to do the same so I literally just played around with some colours you know how you get into a bad habit of using the same stuff this is kind of the colours that I've been wearing lately so hopefully you like it obviously you can change up the colours if you want to um but yeah it's nothing special really just because I wanted to get a video out there so I thought I would just film me doing my makeup and I can't wait to take it off because my eyes are like streaming you know how you just have one of those days where your eyes are just wet and they won't yeah I don't really know what's going on but yeah hopefully you like it if you do please give the video a thumbs up let me know what you thought in the comments down below in the comments down below and please subscribe if you are new here so if you want to see how I got this look right here then just keep on watching okay so I am just starting off with a light layer of foundation all over my skin um, I don't want to finish it off just in case we get any fall down but I do like to apply a little bit of foundation just because your eyeshadow looks so much um, better when you've got a bit of foundation on there's nothing worse than having no foundation on and you've got a like dark smoky eye it just doesn't necessarily look right um, I'm sure you know what I mean um, yeah this bit is pretty boring um, but I then go ahead and prime my eyelids with concealer and an eyeshadow base to prevent my eyeshadows from creasing as well so as always I love to go in with my favourite eyeshadow which is Rule by MAC and this is a really really warm toned smoky eye so I love going in with this shade first as it warms up any smoky eye and I'm mixing that with the Shanoxo palette and this kind of I don't know what you would call it like a pukey kind of <laughs> light orange and um, I'm just putting that all the way through the crease and it wasn't kind of um, orange enough so I went in with the shade Chickadee by Makeup Geek. You don't obviously have to use all of these colours. I was just playing around with makeup, um, so I decided to use what I wanted basically. Um, just as long as it's very warm and orangey, that will work. And you want to put this through the natural crease of your eye, and you can see I'm blowing it out quite far, so I'm bringing it bringing it up quite far through my crease and I'm doing circular motions to apply that and you just want to go back and forth until you're happy with the intensity it really depends on how blown out you want your smoky eye um, I like to bring it up quite high because my darker shades I like to put more focused in the crease if that makes sense so I like to have these shades kind of peeking through so you can see I keep layering them up until I'm happy with the intensity So next I'm actually going in with a blusher by MAC. This is called Burnt Pepper and it's such a gorgeous, unusual, basically burnt red shade <laughs> as the name suggests. And I'm putting this all the way across my crease and you can see the motion I'm doing with my brush. I'm wiggling it all the way across the natural crease of my eye. So you just want to follow the natural shape of your eye. And I want this um, eyeshadow look to be quite rounded, so you can see I'm not bringing it out further than the, than the natural shape of my eye. So I keep going back and forth, right from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. And I literally just keep on blending and adding a little bit more and then blending again until I'm happy with the intensity. So the more you add, obviously the more dense it's going to be. The less you add, the kind of light and like the sheerer the product is going to be. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm just, I'm feeling a little bit ill, so excuse me. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going over the edges to make sure they're nice and blended with a separate brush. So with a slightly deeper shade, this is optional. Um, I just wanted to make it a little bit darker. So I went in with the shade Bitten by Makeup Geek. So it's just a couple shades darker, like a really nice burgundy toned brown. 
and I'm putting that in the exact same area doing the exact same shape right from the outer part of my lid all the way to the inner part and don't worry if you get it on the lid because we'll be putting a different shade there later um, but you just mainly want to focus it in the crease and as you can see I'm going over with a separate brush um, just to buff out the edges because you don't want any harsh lines. You want this look to be very blown out and very seamless so by going in with a separate brush it will just ensure everything is kind of nice and blended. Always have a separate blending brush to hand so you can go over the edges and you'll always always have a blended smoky eye. So for my lid shade, I'm going in with Cosmopolitan by Makeup Geek again. Um, I love these eyeshadows, they're so, so affordable, which is why I always use them in my tutorials. And I'm putting that all the way across the natural lid um, space. And when I say natural, I mean I'm literally just following the shape of my lid. If you want to create kind of a larger lid space, all you would do is just go slightly above the natural crease of your eye. Um, I just basically follow the shape and I'm kind of cutting out my crease, if that makes sense. So I'm using the brush to kind of make that line a little bit sharper. Um, you don't have to do this, you can kind of make it quite blended, but I wanted um, the shimmery shade to be quite noticeable. And don't worry if you feel like you go a little bit too low or you've got some fall down, is you can just clean that up with a makeup wipe like I'm doing here. But you can see that I'm not sharpening up the edge, I'm literally just going right underneath it. I want that to be quite blended still. And because we've done just foundation, we can easily wipe that away. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit more to add more coverage and just cover up the areas that I took away with the makeup wipe um, so I want my skin to look quite full coverage but I've got some freckles at the moment so I quite like to have them peeking through as I just feel like it makes your skin look a little bit more natural and I'm applying a little bit um, of concealer underneath the eyes a few shades lighter to highlight and to add coverage and as you can see I don't apply it right underneath the eye as that will prevent it from really settling into the fine line so I just kind of work up with my beauty blender and it kind of um, highlights and adds coverage like I said and I love using a sponge because it really holds the product there and it doesn't move it about too much. So to even out the highlight I like to put a little bit um, through the centre of my face and the sides of my mouth just to kind of even it out so it's not so stark white underneath the eyes and it kind of balance everything out as well. So you want to make sure you do set your liquids in place, even if you are a little bit dry you do want to go in with just a very light powder. This is a translucent one so it doesn't really add any coverage or change the kind of colour of my foundation. It just takes away any unnecessary shine and I mainly focus that through the centre of my skin where I get a little bit oily and also where I apply bronzer and especially underneath the eyes to seal that concealer in place. So I also go in with just a little bit of bronzer, this is optional, but I do like to warm up the skin slightly with a smoky eye. As you will find, it can wash you out a little bit, so just add your usual blusher or bronzer to really warm up the skin. And I also love to mix highlighters at the moment. So this is Becca's Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector and Max. Um, oh my god, what's it called? Cheeky Bronze Highlighter. I just kind of mix the two together um, to add a really nice peachy glow. Okay, so I did film this video about two weeks ago and I have no idea why I don't have any footage of me applying lashes. I'm not sure if I cut the camera off, I don't know, but I will be doing um, an eyelash tutorial soon. Anyway, so I applied lashes, you can apply mascara, whatever you prefer. Um, but as always, I love to add um, eyeshadow underneath the lash line just to balance everything out. I'm um, just using that bitten shade to really buff out the 
um, lower lash line and then I go in with the shade Chickadee to kind of further smoke it out and just to add that hint of warmth right around the edges and connect um, the top lid and the lower part all together so it's nice and seamless. I wanted it to be a little bit um, kind of more dramatic so I'm just adding some gel eyeliner in black to my waterline and this instantly adds um, just a little bit more drama basically. And as you can see now I'm just adding a very light hand of highlighter to my brow bone. I think this is Nylon by MAC and also to my inner corners as well. I feel like this just ties everything together um, and just adds a really nice glow and kind of when you turn your head you can sort of see the highlight shimmering in that kind of way. And to kind of tie the eyeliner and the eyeshadow together, I'm just adding that darker bitten shade right into my lash line. Again, just to make sure everything's nice and seamless and blended together to add a bit more depth. For lips today, I decided to go nice and nude, not your kind of typical autumn shade, but I will be doing more um, tutorials with a darker lip, but I just go in with a uh, Myth by MAC, obviously I'm not going to leave it at that, and then I'm loving this lip gloss at the moment, it's by MAC, it's one of the Vamplify lip glosses, they're so pigmented and so glossy, and this is in the shade Spanking Hort, I think, I know, well, crazy name but yeah I really love this look I hope you guys like it as well and you'll see me in my next one